Can you keep a secret? Tell me what I don't know. No for some more, no, but no letting go. Hi guys, my name is Susan Patrick, aka okay, Suzy Suzy Savage, and this is MTV Sugar Ninja Season 5. Spill the protect tea. your baby fire down, you know need silence. And in my corner, in my <laughs> own conco corner, in the side of my side, my left hand side, I have the one. Your future husband. <laughs> the five boy we know people. The 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 sweetest looking over, boy. Babe. Wearing red and, and white. Blessing your screens. I know, I know, I know. If you're a boyfriend and you're watching this with your babe, just collect the phone from her. Collect the phone from her. I have the one and the Please, own. I have enough men I that see. hate me. Error, knee, knee, period. <laughs> Thank you Let's so much. Let's go. Susan. I should just say, what do you do? What do you do? What do you um, live in? Apart I mean, from me, the fine boy. Uh, well, I'm a social media brand influencer and an entrepreneur. Period. Yeah. Yeah, he has, he has Mr. Money. Okay, so jumping straight into the question. Okay. Have you ever been with someone that has been like in a situation of gender based violence? Like has been in a relationship where they were violent? Somebody. With, yes. Well, yeah, I know a friend that has actually. And you know, the thing is with girls, they feel like, oh, he's just angry, he doesn't really mean it. But when she started having marks on her body, it was clear that she was going through shit that she herself couldn't like come to terms with. She didn't want to face reality that this was violence. So, in that situation, what did you do? How did you help? I I, I had to, I gave her my best advice. Run away. Oh. Yeah. So that, that's your best advice. That's my best so advice. So you're not call Popo. Uh, we, I we, didn't we, see. We, I don't we, want to call. It's not, not like I'll call police and then the next week I'll hear they've married and they they'll say I'm I was enemy of progress. True. Because most of the times when you when you like get involved with someone's relationship, they end up like if they end up coming back together, you it's look like head. a bad you egg. Like, a like you look like yeah, like a, oh, you like tried to stop us. Yeah. <laughs> so I try not to like do too much, but at the same time I do the most I can. Mm-hmm. So I gave her advice proper advice and I ha- told some of our siblings to try and help her out and at the end of the day it worked actually okay so now I have a question for you because that is your friend okay what would you do if you find yourself in like an abusive relationship with like an abusive partner how would you cope what would you do would you tell your friends would you go would you stay in the relationship because you know some people like to do fix that I can't fix him I can't fix him what would you do that's a very good question I mean when I was younger I feel I would stay and still say or still give some excuses for her but right now if I'm to be in that kind of situation I will leave because I'm not your punching bag like and I can't hit you. I'm if you want like, go punch, go like, gym. Go to the gym. If you, if you want to, if, like, if bro. You need to blow off steam, but like, don't do that on my face. Don't don't spoil my skin. I beg. I'm a fine boy. Fine boy? <laughs> can you see the fine boy? Why you want to go and be punching his face? What, what uh, uh, please, please, we're not here for that. Please, we're Period. too old for that. So you would leave. Basically. Definitely. So OC is telling you guys if you are in a gender based Run no. <laughs> Run. Don't leave Run. If you are not Sprint. in an abusive relationship, he's telling you to carry your kayak and under go. your armpits. Whether you're a girl, run. Whether you're a boy. Almost Especially your if you're a boy. Run. Like <laughs> right now. So yeah. Thank you, OC, for so joining for my me. podcast. Thank I you for it. coming to my own small little spilled tea. It was so <laughs> nice having fun. It was with nice. you. Before you go, come and tell us some, some things about sugar. What do you enjoy? You ah. watch episode one. So tell me like your favorite <laughs> thing from it. I don't, should I be saying this because my favorite character was actually Naya. Oh, louder! I can't hear. Oh, I, please, I'll please be the crowd. The crowd is a lot. <laughs> the crowd is much. Yeah, yeah. My favorite character was Naya. She's very interesting. She's very realistic because in schools you have that kind of girl that wants to, you know, she wants to start living life. She she feels like a big girl. I am a big and, girl. Yeah, you're killing the role, honestly. Like, I, are you sure you're play? Are you sure you're acting? Uh-huh. It seems uh-huh. like you. That's not what we will do now. That's not where we'll start now. <laughs> but I mean, like you know, I'm just yeah. so good that you can't even tell when I'm acting. <laughs> yeah, you're good. It, 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 you did really well, and I can't wait to watch the remaining episodes. Thank you so much, Osi. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for thank having. Thank you for having me. You know need silence, baby. Fire down. You know need silence, ha. Yeah. Baby, fire.